All right, folks, in this lesson, we are going to get set up with SFML on a Linux machine using the default packages from your package manager. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. So go ahead and navigate to the SFML web page and go to download. Now you can go ahead and try to download SFML. The latest version as of this recording is 2.51, and you could download and install the package here. I'm actually going to use the package manager because it helps set up things like the library paths and so on correctly. So instead, what I'm going to do is open up a terminal and I'll make this uh, nice big for you. And first, I just want to remove SFML just in case it has previously been installed. For most folks, that's not going to matter. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is go ahead and search for the package with your package manager and doing some search with SFML will bring up a bunch of results here. And if you go ahead and look through these results here, you'll see that there are a bunch of libraries and a bunch of different versions. The one that we're interested with is the actual development library. Now there is the libc uh, version here, but we actually just want libsfml-dev, which gives us the C++ uh, version of SFML with all the header files and all the libraries compiled and ready to go on our machine. So let's go ahead and just copy this name here. And we'll do sudo app git install and lib sfml dev. If you're on another machine like CentOS and you have a different package manager like yum or pacman, it'll probably be a similar command. So just go ahead and run this command. If it prompts you, say yes to install. And again, I'm doing this using sudo here so that I have permissions to write to my library directories and so on. Okay. Now that I've done this, let's go ahead and test that it's working on our Linux machine. And the easiest way to do this is to go to the learn section, the tutorials, and then go ahead and click on SFML and Linux. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is just copy the sample code so that we have a hello world example ready for us to go. So in any directory here, say in your home directory, let's go ahead and create SFML.cpp. And you can see that I've already got this uh, set up for us, but let me just go ahead and Figure this out and paste in the sample just to prove that it's exactly what we have here. And I'll go ahead and close this. And now we'll go ahead and compile this code here. So I'll use G++, the file that we're trying to compile, and the output of our program. So I'll go ahead and try to hit enter here. And what's going to happen is you're going to get a bunch of undefined references if you do that. So again, reading through the tutorial as a backup, if you want, it'll give you the different compilation options or the libraries that you need and explain a little bit why. So let me go ahead and just show you what we need here. So we need to link in the SFML graphics library. And we need the SFML window, which will pop up a window. And we need to link in, that's lowercase l, the SFML system library for the core components. So I'll go ahead and hit enter, and now you'll see no mistakes here. And I'll go ahead and do dot slash prog for our program, hit enter, and we should see the hello world application running at this point. So if you see this, you're now ready to go with SFML, and you can even try to include some of the other libraries like audio and networking, just if you want to make sure that it's set up 100% appropriately. All right, folks, now that you've done that, you've got your first SFML application up and running on a Linux machine, and you're ready to continue on with this series. So make sure you go ahead and follow through to the next video, and we'll see you in the next one.